Yo, what is up guys? So welcome back to our new episode and today I'm gonna talk about why I started doing videos, why I started doing photography and all this stuff I'm doing right now. But first I really need some coffee cause I am so freaking sleepy. B-roll! <laughs> So how did I get into this whole thing, this whole video making, photography, YouTube and everything? When I was in my teens, high school days, I really wanted to have a cam, like a basic cam. I don't even know what cam it is, but I really wanted a cam. So I loved taking photos, including myself back then. Fast forward to my college days, I think it was my second year, sophomore years. So it's the first time I got my hands into a real cam, a real camera, DSLR. It was my friend's Canon, I forgot the model. He was kind enough to let me use it for a day. And for a day means I have to take as much photos as I want, as much as I can. Because I only have it for one day, right? By that time, I never knew how to take photos. Even the basics, even anything else about photography. I know nothing, but I'm really interested. Because I really love to hear that shutter sound, like... When you do that. Every click you do, it's like music to my ears back then. Back then, I was into DJing, so... <laughs> I was more into audio editing, music editing. I used to work for a remixing site. It's called Crack for DJs. I don't know if they're still it's still there. I don't know if it still exists, but it was the thing back then. So I used to edit music and post it on their site and I get a dollar per download. So I it was fun. It was it was a good, good thing. Way back in college, which I was dependent on my parents' money to live, that was my extra. But as years go by, video editing was becoming the trend in the clubs. So I tried it. I tried editing videos. I tried music and video mixing at the same time. But I wasn't really good at it. I suck at it, but I love how you can manipulate those videos and turn this thing into something. And it got me curious. But all those years, I never really focused on video editing. Until I discovered this guy named Peter McKinnon and this guy, Casey Neistat. Both are really big youtubers with millions of followers and they have awesome content really awesome content what really amazed me about these two guys is how they tell their story through their videos they storytell really really well 
Nystad does a vlog, like a daily vlog video. I hate when it rains. It makes it so hard to vlog because my camera gets all wet. And it's like his life, basically. But he does it, it's like when you're watching his vlogs, it's like you're watching a TV series and you really want to watch another one the next day. And McKinnon, on the other hand, does cinematics, which I really like, which I'm focusing on more right now. And yeah, basically that's how I discovered YouTube and stuff. So yeah, I was watching this too, right? And I told myself, why don't I make a vlog myself? Because I love talking to people. I love sharing my experiences. I love to share my thoughts. Why not start one? So I decided to make my first video during our first vacation to the Philippines last month, I think. Two months ago. So I've made my first video and it sucked. Go to this rock formation. I hope it's not too crowded today. Really, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to story tell. I don't know which clip goes to this clip. Next, next, next. I really don't know what I'm doing. I decided to take videos. I decided to take photos because I want to capture those moments that you cannot capture again. It's like time. It will never go back. So it's there. Once I capture it, it's there. It's there in my hard drive, it's there in my phone, it's there in my Instagram. Because it's like time. It just goes by like this. And boom, it's gone. So what software did I use to edit my first video? It's iMovie. iMovie is pretty basic. It's the most basic of everything. It's just click and drag, cut and whatever you want to do. Then I moved to Filmora, which is yeah a bit a bit in the middle. And then I finally moved to Final Cut Pro X, which I will be sticking to for quite a while because I love the software. I love how easy it is to use. It's user friendly. And yeah, the features are so good. Will I quit my job for it? Might be yes, might be no. If I will be better in photography, in doing videos, if it can pay the bills, yeah, I can do it professionally. But as of now, I'm in the stage where I need to learn a lot, where I need to learn as much as I can and just enjoy the process. Because I still believe that learning does take time and the best teacher will be your experience. So the more experience you get from filming, like doing freelance work, the better you get. So that's how I got into the whole thing. The whole thing about doing videos, photography, yeah, and the whole stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do. Click the thumbs up button, hit the bell, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.